How long does it take you to become a great grower? That is today's question. Happy Saturday, everybody. What's going on? What up? All right. Somebody got too high, man. <laughs> hey, happy Saturday. We was hanging out. I was actually hanging out in the grow BSing. BSing. I was actually talking to myself. Uh, but man, I'd made a mistake and I was getting mad at myself about it. And then kind of just had to remember, man, it's, it's, it's about the journey. You know, I'm not a master grower yet. So I, was, I don't know, it started make, making me thinking, how long does it take to really become a master at something? Or I'll even take, that's the, I'll even take just being really good at something. All right. Well, point of clarification. Yes, sir. Are you operating under the assumption that masters don't make mistakes occasionally too? Yeah, I am actually. I mean, I see. What's up, brother? Happy what? Saturday. Happy Saturday. Banner, what's going on, brother? Good morning. Grambo. Yo, where yeah. am I? I, 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 I? Happy Saturday. Dude is somewhere in California right now, man. He's somewhere. on a road trip. So. Undisclosed location? Yeah, we're covering for him. We're Driving covering I-5. Yeah, I am under the impression that masters don't make mistakes. I've never is met anybody who gets to the point where they don't still make mistakes and don't still have more to learn. Yeah, all right. You guys haven't seen The Karate Kid? I have, but he did, why did a Miyagi? Yeah, dude, he can catch a fly with. That's what I mean. He never misses, dude. <laughs> what am I going to believe in if he misses? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're just good at hiding their mistakes. And there's so many. Oh, just when it comes to growing, like I've been growing for, I don't know, 30 years or something like that. And still, I went in the grow a couple of days ago and I was like, all right, man, these things need, they're ready. They're going into flowering. Let's give them more light. I took this light that I'd never, never really, I'm not super familiar with, dialed it up 20%. was like, hey, that should work. Came back and my plants were fried. Mm. By the way, at the worst possible time for doing a little grow, screwing things up in the beginning of flower, it's just about the worst thing you can do So, in recovery now. But man, I was pissed. I was bumped, man. That's like a rookie mistake. And then I was like, no, it's kind of not a rookie mistake. You know, so I, don't, I haven't worked with the PBFD meter this this long. Haven't had this type of light and this type of power for this long. So kind of stopped beating myself up. It was just like, yo, let's take some more clones and let's uh, figure this out. You know, let's do a little bit better next time. Well, master or not, if you're trying something new, you, you don't necessarily know what's going to happen. And in this industry, there's always new innovations coming out. So, so I'm saying like master, how could you ever be a master when the landscape is changing as frequently as it is? All right. Well, what about huh? great, man? When do you get from? OK, so good. So you're a beginner grower, right? Mm -hmm. So your goal is just to get good or proficient at it, right? To know how to do it. Yeah. And when you show me like. Buds that you grew and you're like, yeah, these are mid. I'm like, dude, I would be so happy if that came out of my tent. Also, so you can do pretty good being a good grower, I'll say. Yeah. Free weed. Yeah. Hey, Grandma, how long have you been growing? Uh, started like just like mincing around, taking care of like my, my older friends, like grows when they go out of town. So right. I, don't know, I don't know if that counts. So, you know, around like 12, probably. Also, I, I taking knew this, he was going to say that. Yeah, I started taking it seriously probably around 2013, 14, which is when I found Dude Grow Show in 2015. And yeah, so I, I actually had a cheat code, you know, you you guys pretty much you and banner me and high c we we grow up in the the age of like on demand like there wasn't there was no you know dude grows there was no i can thc there was no you know pigeons there was no none of this so we all had to kind of learn you know piece by piece so yeah i got lucky so i had to i got to stand on the shoulders of giants ironically you know you know you know no pun intended with you big bastards over here but uh yeah it was uh it was a cheat code so i got to go from not knowing anything to going pretty darn good pretty fast because i had the cheat codes whereas you guys what jorge cervantes book was that like the top technology back in the day yeah but that was somebody recommended that when we were talking on the panel show about people to listen to it really isn't a bad book to no, to go through it's you, the bible yeah. yeah if you're just trying to get started and want to learn something yeah so it does bring you to a point is that learning from other people is how you get from good to great i would say so here's here's something uh, that always bugs me is some people just have a green thumb like they from very early on, they're just able to grow stuff. And then some people don't have that. And in any kind of skill, Grambo is amazing at guitar. 
Some people just try and try and try and they never can play a guitar. And some now people just pick it up and they listen to it and they're like, oh, I get it. Is that true, Rambo? Yeah, I, I think it comes with a ton of practice. No, I was one of those times. I picked up a guitar and I just started listening to songs off the radio and I just started doing it. Yeah. Whereas I had friends who could draw. They could like physically draw like yeah, cartooning okay, and everything. Right. It drove me nuts that I couldn't do it. It right. drove me absolutely. And they looked at me like I was silly. Just draw ahead. It's easy. Yep. So, so we were talking before the show. I think Banner brought up the 10,000 hours or the 10 years. I like that you said it was a thousand hours. Thank you. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. where I'm at, man. All right. But some people can master something a month after they pick it up. And then some people years later still aren't at that same level. Like some people just have a natural inclination to certain things and they can pick it up way faster. So maybe you can't even become a master at certain things. And I, man, I hate to believe that. I like to think that, you know what I mean? <laughs> that if you want something and you work at it hard enough, isn't that the American dream though? <laughs> to get good at guitar and growing weed. Yeah, <laughs> that's why people sell their soul. A lot of people do sell their soul to get good as <laughs> to get good guitar. at guitar. It happens all the time, man. All right, yeah. baby. Oh, it's funny, man. I don't know, man. How long? How long have you been growing better? Uh, nine, nine years, nine years. Yeah, and I, I don't think you would consider yourself a master, right? No, you're a great grower. You're a good grower. What would you say? I don't know, but telling people you're a master, a master grower is, is a pretty easy way to lose a bunch of respect. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> at least in you the grow scene that I've come across, better be able to back it. I don't even know. Nah, you're, you're just, just about to avoid that, that word. Man. Their words, yeah. Well, there's, you know what it comes from? Master gardener. There is a master gardener. And honestly, it's not that big of a deal. You go to the, <laughs> the master gardening program, you know, you read yeah. the book. Damn it. Oh, to be fair, mm. in 2023, is it even okay to call yourself a master? No, anything no. Anymore? No, it's not. All right, man. You just You're learned just it really, on YouTube really anyways. Good, all right. Yeah. But that is a big point, man, is if you care enough you can learn so much through YouTube or I see I wanted you to hang out with us because you're a guy that's always taking online courses, always learning from someone that you respect. And you're always getting this more information and building. Damn, you're you're good at your job man. you built yourself a great career. Yeah, and I would not be objected to calling myself a master marketer or a master copywriter. Yeah, you yeah, I wouldn't feel douchey about it. but nowhere near a master grower i'm like probably the least master grower in the room right now yeah you are intimidated by it. you know it's not that hard right dude i until i came on board working with you guys i was very intimidated by it and i totally killed two plants so like did it screwed it up didn't do it again for years tried it again screwed it up yeah and then i came on you, you you scott you were like dude it's so easy you just do this and you do this and you do this and you let it go and i was like holy that was the first time that i grew something and i grew some stuff that banner gave me and it turned out great but again was it the genetics was it what you it's know? a little bit of everything you, but if you think about it you're spending three months right mm -hmm. From start to finish. So there's a lot of things that can go wrong over three months. What, are, what else do you, what other projects do you work on that take three months? Like, um, from, like around your house. My, maybe you're building something that takes three months. Hey, my, my neighbor who's 82 years old was building his rock wall for three months. But if it doesn't go right that day, he can undo what he did and come back tomorrow and start fresh. Man, I turned those lights up a little bit. I fried them plants in, in the worst possible time. And now I'm, you know, you can't just go and redo what you did yesterday and, and fix it. So yeah, having consistency yeah. for three months is a big deal. Yeah. That's the hardest part, I think. Yeah. Like I said, there's just so much that can go wrong in three months. Why do you think I take almost everything out of my own hands? Like, I don't want to <laughs> water them every other. And, and I can't keep houseplants alive. And, and lots of people have shared stories. And I'm sure you have some of uh, stuff that's gone wrong. that has been completely beyond your control. Like your power goes out for four days. Sure. I can't think of any time I've screwed up that hasn't been my fault. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. So like master or not, there are oh, yeah. things that you don't or can't control. Let's also... Consider the fact you got Grandma was talking about 
back in the days before the internet. And there was a couple of books that were kind of like talked about in the shadows, like the anarchist cookbook of growing. Ah, <laughs> can we just declare that the anarchist cookbook <laughs> is full of crap? All right. <laughs> not all of it. I'm not taking a basketball and filling it up with match heads. Man. This is not legal advice, uh, <laughs> but to the point though, like you can, you can go YouTube university and a grower. Now somebody who wants mm-hmm. to get into growing now can get, as much information in a week as we back in the eighties, nineties took us years to accumulate. Think about if you could go to a cafe, you know, and, and hang out when there's hundreds of growers all over the place. Some of them are really good growers. Maybe you can walk up and pull up a chair say, Hey man, you mind if I ask you something? And if they give you a dumb answer or blow you off, no big deal. You go to another table. That's mm-hmm. pretty much the reality of, you know, Cannabuzz or the DGC. Mm-hmm. You know, it was, it, that's where those folks are hanging out. It's a hell of an opportunity to learn. Yeah. yeah. Used to be a lot more based on location, like where you were. Like if you weren't around a lot of other people that yeah. grew or smoked weed, yeah. you're kind of on your own. And even getting bad advice from people, it'll set you back. But if you know enough growers, you can talk to them and be like, no, that's the, don't, don't listen to that. <laughs> you're like uncle grow science. Well, you know, you're uncle, yeah, you're like shady uncle that's, you know, back from Nam and he grows. Right. Is that a step above bro, bro science? Is uncle, uncle grow. science? Yeah. Oh, I'll science. Be uncle grow. It's uncle grow science. <laughs> from the shady uncle, you know, everyone's got all of it. Man. Well, you know, one of the awesome things, too, about this show and this community is in the comments, if we get something blatantly wrong mm-hmm. or if we've got some of that bad information and we share it, a lot of times there'll be 15 comments from people being like, dude, I used to believe that, but, and then we can go back and be like, oh, okay. I didn't even know about that. So the chance to get rid of bad information is also increased over. Yeah. It's, it's, it's all new world, man. It, Absolutely is, man. And the fact that you can build yourself or at least uh, collect information on just about anything you want. That's why as much as uh, we'll sometimes complain about YouTube censorship, it is an amazing place, man. It's it's an amazing thing that they've done. Yeah. Agreed. Do you hear that, YouTube? We love, uh, we love, love you. you. I'm not even YouTube. YouTube now, is the best. Okay. It's cannabis. I, for one, welcome our favorite <laughs> video overlord. <laughs> uh, I was just funny, man. I was thinking about how I was, I was tripping over the old incarnations of the real buckets a couple oh. days ago. And I was like, wait a minute, what do I do with these? And there was just some Museum. dumb version of it that I flooded the room with. And I was like, whoa, wait, maybe I shouldn't make them out of here. Like I just had like dumb ideas. And through the years, they got a little bit better and a little bit better. And definitely some dumb ones still thrown in there. And I was like, I finally got something that worked. And I was feeling like I was feeling really good about it. And then I looked at all the failures. It was like, I don't know. Uh, but it reminds me of I Grambo, you've yeah. been doing the show long enough. So <laughs> I I've I, I, Check out this article all the time when I'm oh, feeling yeah. a little bit. No, it's inspired me sometimes, too, as a guy that I didn't get started until like 39. So let's call it 40. Yeah, I love this, too. Yeah, I moved out here in Colorado when I was 38 and started like a whole new life. And it took me a long time to get things going. I just, you know, you don't have to press the video. Mm. Just if you would just scroll down, there's a couple. This is 48 people that didn't make it as the most famous failures it said but it's people that didn't make it till way after 40 Mm -hmm. so they had there was a couple there's a lot of them. Einstein Wait was second. selling insurance. Keanu Reeves was famous. But he was you like know 16. what? I skipped a bunch of those. <laughs> man. I was like, Katy Perry's first record failed. Okay. okay? Fair, enough, fair enough. Yeah. No, there was some that uh, uh, there was a couple that I thought were interesting. Do you know who James Dyson is? The Dyson vacuum? Yeah. Yeah. That guy it was one of those. I like the ones where they're ahead of their time. Mm. And he had this, he knew about cyclonic suction and that you could separate through cyclonic whatever action. And he was just ahead of his time with it. They were still using these crappy bag vacuum cleaners. And he was like, dude, I got a better way. And uh, I don't know, I just kind of, yeah. all right, ready? Mm-hmm. It's with the grow dots. I'm like, dude, it's kind of a little bit ahead of their time or they're a little bit, it's a lot different than what other people are using. And uh, sometimes I think the, you know, 
the industry or people might not be ready for such a big change, you know, and he failed for years. He had people being like, no, no, no. And then finally, now he's got three billion dollars, man. He is an actual billionaire (laughs) now. You know, we have this saying, trailblazers come back with a bag full of arrows. <laughs> uh, that sucks, man. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't, know, that, I don't know if that's politically correct no. to say nowadays, but it's true. It's true. In business, if you have a product that's too far ahead of your time, you're going to come back with a bag full of arrows. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes the most brilliant things. It's going to take years of educating the market, and that's going to take a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of energy. Right. And sometimes it takes until you're 50 of just hammering that nail into the board before it finally goes through. And then the world catches up. But it took them a while, just like with the vacuum. What was the other example that you gave? KFC, Colonel Sanders. There you go. The two I identified with, you had Einstein and, uh, you know, Edison and the, Henry Ford. The most modern one is definitely J.K. Rowling. She she is that story. She was absolutely nowheresville until Harry Potter when she was right. 38. Mm. Yeah, she was living in a car and weird shit. Yeah, like that, right? hardcore life. And she made it. Wow, man. That has got to be so weird. Yeah, and that's funny because it makes me think of high C. It's like, like the more I learn about this, what do you think? Is it is it life circumstances? Like I know everyone's different, but it, or is it self limiting beliefs? Because I always find myself the hardest thing uh, as I've been studying business and stuff. I'm like, how do business people have the confidence to ask? They ask like, oh, can I have five percent of your company? I'll work for you. It's like, how do you have like. Like Scott's like, hey, I can work for me. It's like, hey, I can have five percent of real growers. The balls on me to ask something like that. <laughs> Is that what she did? Well, not her, but a lot of great business people do that. And it's, I'm just realizing, oh, that's my self limiting belief. Yeah, in all of this, I think that uh, when it comes to somebody who finally makes it in their late thirties, late forties, whatever, sure. it's because they. They believed in themselves enough to keep getting up over and over. Life knocks you down. Yep. You get back up. Life knocks you down. You get back up. And if you keep that grit, eventually you're going to find that thing that hits the grand slam for you. But a lot maybe. of people. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. But I. I Thank over God over, these real buckets finally worked. Thank you. <laughs> but it, it's the treat. And, it, and I think it's the same whether you get lucky and you find it when you're in your early 20s or you get lucky and you find it in your late 30s. Yeah. That personality trait, though, of I'm going to get back up. I'm going to try. I'm going to fail. I'm going to learn. I'm going to get back up. Yeah. That's, I think, the main thing is that belief in yourself. And a lot of people don't. They get knocked down and they get scared to get back up again because they don't want to get knocked down again. Sorry not to think of the Chumbo Chumbo Wumbo song, right? (laughs) It's a good song, man. It's a good song. I get it now. What's the song? I don't even know. I'll get knocked out. Yeah. Oh, I I thought you were talking about the Chumbo Wumbo. We don't have to sing it. Oompa Loompas. I think you can play it on a guitar, can't you, of Grandma? Of course, everybody can. So can you. That's what everybody said. I can play it on a guitar. So right can now. you. Yes. By the way, my other role model out of this was Colonel Sanders. So what did Colonel Sanders do to Colonel like, Sanders. put him over the... Well, he First, like, he was one of the first franchise guys that uh, not franchises okay. stuff, which was interesting. But no, he had a better way of cooking chicken. He pressure fried it, which sounds insanely dangerous <laughs> <laughs> in the 1930s. Yes, but he so, invented this pressure fryer, and then he went and licensed them out to uh, these other, you know, uh, so, other uh, uh, kitchens. So it's not the 35 spices; it's the pressure fry. It's the pressure fry. Me and you are foodies, man. Yes, uh, that okay. is what makes it super juicy. By the way, I tried to get a pressure fryer before. I nope. thought I was nope. told that it was the birds they use. I'm t- no, I'm telling you, it's a different technology. And again, I like these folks that had different technology that just people hadn't seen and weren't ready for. But how many times did he have to get smacked down and told no before he finally got somebody to say yes? A ton. A ton. A ton, man. He had stick to it, miss. Imagine how many chickens he, how much chicken he had to eat to like, oh. <laughs> Get it dialed in. I'm too drunk to taste this chicken. <laughs> what was that, man? That was a that was a a slogan, right? I'm too drunk to taste this chicken. Yeah, I can't remember. <laughs> it was, it was <laughs> but isn't it should be? That was a slogan. So, yeah. real quick to bring it back to growing, mm-hmm. me and my buddy Jimmy grew a plant when we were like 16 years old, 
and it was okay. And then I tried to grow a plant on my own and I killed it. And then I just gave up. I said, I don't want to go through that experience again until COVID. And then I tried to grow another plant and I killed that one too. And it was, I didn't know what I was doing and I was too scared to go on the internet and look it up. Cause when I went on the internet, I got all kinds of conflicting information. Really? Yeah. And so I was just like, I did not have that get back up mentality about growing weed. And then I met you and you're like, dude, let me show you how easy this is. And then it worked, but I needed you to give me, to give me that boost to get back up. And, uh, yeah, we live in a privileged time where we can find people on the internet that can help us do that. Hey, let me, show you, let me show you the way to do it. This can be so easy. You can do it. I didn't have that for a long time. And so it made me give up easy on growing and then, yeah, flipped it around. You know what that does remind me of, sir? What's that? The DudeGrows.com crew, man. Over on Patreon. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, having having access to a big community of growers. That's what I'm saying, man. Legit growers over there. So if you want to be part of it, if you are one of those growers and want to get on and help everybody, DudeGrows.com slash support. Where you go. Yeah. Helps keep the show alive and helps build a community that helps people like me learn how to grow and people like you guys get extra tips on how to grow better. Uh-huh. Dude yes. grows. You can be an asker or an answerer. Uh-huh. Helping people help people like me. And how do you become an answerer? By being a good asker. Yes. Shout I out. I see. I'm smoking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. Become a Patreon. Uh-huh. Dudegrows.com slash support. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, do you see my secret of life right here, Grambo? Which one's that? It says, well, it's just a sorcerer, okay? Yes, it says, this is the real secret of life, to be completely engaged with what you are doing. And instead of calling it work, realize it's play. Indeed. That is not me. That is Alan Watts, sir, as stolen from High C over here. (laughs) We talk about this a lot. The fact that... We get to work and it feels like play. Yeah, we have fun. Yeah, you, I mean, you're passionate about growing. You're passionate about teaching people how to grow. I come over here and you're so excited to show, dude, we got to do this. We got to show people yeah. this. And for me personally, that's why I posted that is, man, I feel like I get to play with, I feel like it's preschool and I get paid for it. I play with crayons and I build stuff all day and it's freaking fun. I mean, now some of it feels like work. Don't get me wrong. Feels like when I'm work. doing those short form pieces of con- it's a one minute piece of content that I can't read two lines of at a time. It feels like work. <laughs> but just being able to hang out, and even a banner. I want to thank you again for all the work you do on the website. And I was going to ask you about that. That's that feels like work, right? Even though you're putting up weed pictures and all that purple it buds, it can be, but it's fun. Yeah. Okay, cool. Just making sure you're in the zone with us, man. Um, man, we get so many emails from people about just thanking us for uh, what we do and sharing knowledge and stuff like that. And um, I mean, that's why I do it. Yeah. The Even, community, man. You're a giver. It's cool, man. It's cool. Like making people like just kind of sharing the joy of growing with people. <laughs> you know what I think of? I think of like. Even the janitor from like an 80s movie where he's got his headphones in and he's rocking out with his mop and he's making his work play. Like you can live your life that way. You can live your life where you're not just a victim and you have to wake up and you have to go to a job that you hate. You can find the play in anything or... If you're really lucky, you can find that Venn diagram overlap where what you really enjoy doing, what is play for you. Right. And then what other people really need help with and they're willing to pay for. And if you can find that Venn diagram overlap of what you find to be play and what other people are willing to pay for, man, life can be play. Life can be a game. Yeah. Especially if you're a master grower. If you're a master grower. <laughs> that's badass. Good stuff, man. It's good bullshit with you this Saturday morning. Banner, thank Thanks you. Thanks for, for having us over, man. What do you got? What do you got going there? Thank you for checking weed privilege, sir. Banner, check you should check your weed privilege because uh <laughs> he just dumped a bunch of this beautiful flower out. 
this is frosty damn bud. Oh, it's delicious. Yeah. And he goes, ah, it's not my real flavor <laughs> here, man. Who wants it? Just dump the jar. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> There's more to that story. What is the what is going on, man? How come you how come you just dumped out some frosty bud for the work crew? Because I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> I want you to enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, it's just not your terp, you said? No, I was kind of kidding about that. It's absolutely delicious, and I do like what that. What is it? That's blockberry. Blockberry. Mm. All right. Nice, man. It's crazy good flavor, but, man. But I have my own. Oh, that's what we were talking about. I just wanted I'm to bring Sorry, it but smoking your own is There's nothing like it. It's you know? true. I've got some. Uh, we just pulled down that uh, purple weed one yesterday, two days ago. Anyway, man, it's freaking beautiful. I can't wait to smoke it, man. And yeah. one, yeah, and then once it's here, that's what you're going to focus on. So I don't want that sitting around being cr- cr- Colorado crumble. Yeah, it's true. I'd rather a limited. Show I'd rather back. you guys enjoy it. You know. Thank you. Thank you, man. I want to plug real quick. Yes, sir. We did just pull out. We were doing a test run using the AC Infinity tent. Yes. Uh, real buckets, recharge, grow dots. As super simple as we could. <laughs> Hands off growing. And the buds that came out of it were great. And uh, we did post a banner, put up the video over at dudegrows.com you can see yep you can see the results of the easiest way to grow possible and the dank weed that came out of it and uh shout out to ac infinity for hooking us up with the tent to make the make the grow with shout out to the real buckets which you can't get right now because they're sold out but we got new ones coming yes they are and uh shout out to banner for the redesign of the dude grow site is sweet i love it and uh thanks for always thank on you. the ball hooking up everything it's it's awesome i love it thank you by the way if you want to get an account you will need an invite code yeah i asked you for one like a midnight last night man <laughs> that Did was you? a schedule <laughs> uh strain dependent is your arrow strain, strain dependent? dependent that gets you in that's that's your invite code, you want right. to Deal, man. Deal. Hey, as long as I'm shouting out, man, can I shout out to Soda? Yeah. Straight up, man. Big ups to Soda, man, and Seltzer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, nah, Soda's cool, man. I hope I see you at the next DGC Cup, Soda. Yeah. Fly High 89, talking about someone you see at the Cup. What's up, brother? Nobody wants Mean Gene Terpene. I'll take Mean Gene. Man, is that a, like a WWE kind of thing? Yeah, mm-hmm. Mean Gene Okerlund. Mean Gene Okerlund. Mean Gene yeah. Okerlund. He was the best, Oh, he right? was the best. He was the best foil for... He was just perfect for that character. Yeah. But when Vince McMahon did it, man, he was pretty good, man. Well, he was always there. But Mean Gene was such a contrast to all those... Yeah. Bolt, oh, yeah. You know, yeah, he's, he's, like, Gordon he's like a little squirrely right. guy. Yeah. Real quick, before yes, we jump past this, two things. Number one, when you were talking about being able to sit in like a cafeteria or something and ask somebody, yeah, ask that's what it feels like at the Dude Grows Cups. That's like the one thing that I've noticed is you yeah, just you're walk right. through and there's a bunch of people just talk, giving away their best grow tips, asking each other questions. Like that whole environment sounds all right, it's so much fun. And again, back to the dudegrows.com website. We uh, Banner just put up some information on how to get uh, information about the next cup. Yeah. Um, yeah. And shout out to all the DGC supporters. They make the show possible. And uh, if you want to help make the show possible and join that community, dudegrows.com slash support. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, leave some uh, post your dank nugs. Ask a question. Yeah, it's true. Submit some news. Uh, make the site great, man. It's or what is it? The shop. Yeah. Grab oh, the that. site great again. Yeah. And make the site great again, man. <laughs> uh, it's good stuff, man. Hey, I've got. You want to hear something that happened, man? Just Absolutely. complete hijack. Yeah, dude. How would you? Have you ever gotten denied? Uh, I have one of those nicotine. Oh, not nicotine. I have one of these. Oh, I don't know right where this here. is going. Dude, my wife has a nicotine. You don't smoke weed. She just smokes some of the nicotine things. Are you going to help them? Dude, she went to, yes, Washington oh. in Fort Collins. And they were like, can't come in with Shots that. Shots fired. Man. Can't come in with your nicotine pen. They were like, you can go hide in the bushes if you want. <laughs> and I felt like a dick because I was like, yeah, welcome to being a stoner. Okay. Welcome to the world of weed discrimination. 
in, you know. But uh, yeah, it, was, it didn't feel so good, to man, to be, to be discriminated against as a uh, as anything. But for hey, just, just smoking tobacco, tobacco is the new weed, man. Just kidding. I, I feel the need to add one more comment about yes, the place you're talking about. Yes, they don't even have fresh fruit at the bar. You know, fresh what? They don't have fresh fruit at the bar. Bars check have check your fruit. privilege, man. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, what's going on up here? <laughs> you'll see. You go there some night for a show and you'll see what try to do. Uh, you know, it's see. owned by this billionaire woman that's bought Don't like, tell uh, her uh, bought a bunch of our our uh, half town. the town. Yes. There's no re entry. She's very you know, the way it, that's the way it is, man. It's the way it is, okay? I guess it's her party. Mm. You wanna know what I do at my party? Mm. I just show you guys cool, like melting glass stuff, man. What's yeah, cool glass this art? is pretty cool. Yeah, it's Saturday, bro. Go to the Aggie instead. So this is yeah. people melting things with hot glass. They're not. <laughs> ma- they're not making things with hot glass. No, they're, they're just melting melt- things. Like when you text me at like two in the morning, this is what I'm watching right here. <laughs> Although that's pretty. Th- I'd smoke out of that. It's awesome, man. It, a one-eyed cat is now bought melting that. glass with hot glass. Yes, that oh, didn't work that good. It no. didn't work out. This is cool. In the name. So, oh wow. Scott's feed is our all, all of our inner childs. Oh, <laughs> my feed is doing pretty it's pretty good, man. Holy crap. They got no never stood a chance. <laughs> it's just gone. Goes on for 38 more minutes, man. Oh, oh this, no. Yeah, this, I don't even want to watch this. Yeah, this is for you, man. Uh, Nate's a watch guy. Oh. It's been killing time. Ish. Uh, oh, uh, uh, well. Jesus. Thanks for licking and keeps on kicking. Wow. Now that's art right there. What? It's presumably still working. Oh, <laughs> oh no, it's visual effects. <laughs> what is happening? Ah, uh, we're, uh, we're All right, you're down. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so for the for the Spotify only people, you got to check out the video show over yeah. on YouTube. This is a this is a visual show. Or use Saturday the Spotify show. app and watch. The oh, Spotify yeah. does video now Spotify. too, right? Oh, yeah. Saturday's a visual show. It's got to use that with your friends, you know. Yeah. Hey. I got a question for y'all. We're talking talk about, you know, cannabis being normalized. Is it legal to fly with marijuana? And I'm sorry for using that word. Mm. Uh, here are the laws you need to know. And I don't know. Any, any guesses, man? I'm going to say technically, no. Yes. Practically, absolutely. You're right, man. What it, it, Technically, yes, it's federally going across state lines. But what they say is it's up to the airport. The TSA has to call the cops, the local cops. Yeah. It's not like they're calling the FBI unless it's a certain amount. So and most of the time they're like, dude, the cops aren't showing up in New York City for a guy that has an eighth of weed, mm-hmm. you know, that brought his jar of weed. So they're just like, just go. They don't even confiscate it sometimes now. Mm. We won, man. This is cool. You know what I think? How, like, far up into the air does jurisdiction go? Like, is there a certain over 30,000 feet they no longer can charge you? Uh, over 20 oh, feet? Oh, no way. It goes all the way up to interspace. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Government claims control oh, over reality. Two miles oh. high, man. Two miles. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Well, I mean, shit, we're a mile high up here, man, you know? I'm pretty sure there is because that's how you get the international flights where, you know, Anything well, Europe, like international Europe waters, above, you know. Yeah, you're high enough that who gets to write the rules for up there? I love it. Anything above 500 feet, man. What, Grandpa? Did you just find that for I us? I mean, I was just checking, yeah, it, checking into it. Yeah. So after 500 feet, that's where their jurisdiction magical line is. Uh, it's called air rights. What? Navigable. I don't think so, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it works like that. This is a whole rabbit hole. Bro, <laughs> are you questioning the knowledge of Wikipedia? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> it's made by people. <laughs> people. People are. <laughs> Oh, awesome. uh, shoot. Come on, a couple more shout outs real quick, man. And then we'll get into some comments if we could. All right. Nice. Evil Coach Steve, an awesome contributor to the website, man. There is a website for you to go back contributing to, sir. Yeah. He's a regular. And don't forget about Tim Bobwe. A regular. Tim Bobway. Mr. Tim, Mr. Tim Bobwe. Tim Bobwe. <laughs> wow. It almost sounds like a country, doesn't it? Yeah. Mr. Zimbabwe. And this guy sounds like a hip hop artist. Old E, man. He is a hip hop artist. Oh, man. Really? All right. That's Old E from, uh, uh, why can't I think of it, man? 
What's in that weed you smoke? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Easy and OD. Am I, am I crazy? A, uh, he's a supporter? I don't know, man. That's, that's cool, man. Hell <laughs> Why can't I think of the name, man? Why is it killing me? I have no idea what you're talking about. I also can't think of I know exactly what you're talking about. Like, it's some of the closest homies wrapping in the they grow yell trees. At us, man. They're going to yell at us. Oh, oh, Mendo God. Dope. Thank you. Oh, oh, shout out Mendo Dope. Yes. Am I crazy, old Ian Bleasy, right? I believe it. Okay. All right. Oh, well, I. That's not volcano, man. It is. <laughs> <laughs> and Scott has a uh, like six foot tall volcano, volcano bag oh, that he and I smoke Fair. all of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, <it's pretty> big, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty big, man. It's pretty big. We get into a couple comments. Yeah, yeah. Hear what people have to say, man. Yeah, man. It's all good stuff. What do right? people say? The audience actually has really interesting things to say. Always, I got a, a couple of these. First off. I just want to, I'm not going to break my arm patting myself on the back, but uh, Jimmy CV says, you did a great job at the panel this time. Having each guest take a turn to answer the questions was on point. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Hi C. I had asked you for help with the panel show, and I said, hey, I was actually surprised the first time because everybody was really courteous. They would just sit back and nobody wanted to step on each other. Mm -hmm. And so I learned you have to ask people questions, huh? <laughs> Thank you. You read a book on that or? <laughs> That's what I do, Barlow. No, nah, I'm just having fun, man. It's what I'm a master at. Yes. <laughs> uh, this one's just funny. Minnesota High Life. Libertarians. We were talking about a libertarian. Who was it? The Koch brother. Oh, the yeah. Koch brother is a libertarian, yeah. right? <laughs> libertarian secretly taking over the world so we can just leave you alone. I like to be left alone. Do you see the irony there? Don't hate it. There is iron. Trust us. There. <laughs> <laughs> at Danny Bell, we got some crap for this. Nerd grows. <laughs> Third time in a couple weeks. Dude still doesn't get it. LOL. That was funny. And Mr. Spinner says they shout out nerd grows. Oh, Mr. Spinner just says oh, Ms. Spinner. Mm. I'm sorry. I wow, man. We might get the age gated mm. for that. Ms. Spinner 66. They shout out nerd grows. And how do I get a shout out? Well, you just got one, man. Shout out to oh, yeah. Ms. Spinner. Spinner. Yeah, maybe spell your name backwards. It seems to Wait, help. Is it M Spinner or Ms. Pinner? No, Golly, me see. <laughs> I can't even do a shout. I out, bet it's right? Ms. Ms. I'm going with Penner. Ms. Penner. All Penner. right, all right, and, got it. Uh, got it. Well, shout out to you, Ms. Penner. All right, <laughs> shout out, Nerd Gross. Yeah, uh -huh. for the fourth, for the dozen side. I want to, I want to real quick interject. Yes, sir. I have friends from all over the political spectrum. My libertarian friends always love to post. Yes, always love to post. I just want my gay neighbors to be able to protect their marijuana plants with, with AR with their guns. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I've, I've seen that before. <laughs> oh shoot! Hey man, this last one is. Uh, I figured we'd hang out for the comments about big business and cannabis. There was a whole bunch of. It kind of spanned the spectrum. I'll say we were hanging out before talking about it. Um, man, hang on a second. There's a couple comments I saw that were really good here. This is always hard when we flash back to the show. <laughs> What's that? Can we get Scotty? Scotty Inception. Oh my god! <laughs> Scotty's looking at Scotty. That's a trip. Hang on a second, man. And he's wearing the alien shirt. Let me find. Oh, that was the hockey jersey day. Growers, now that you figured out your tent size, pimp it out. ACinfinity.com, guys. Look at their advanced grow tent systems. Everything you need. Carbon filter, inline fan, environmental controller, lighting timer, oscillating clip-on fans, down to the scissors, man. Advanced grow tent systems give you everything you need to get growing. I'm looking at a two by two here for 500 bucks. Coupon code dude grows brings it on down 50 off man across their site coupon code dude grows and you could be growing the dank high quality lighting tents i use them myself go over to dudegrows.com forward slash pros if you want to see all the coupon codes listed to pimp your grow out guys and now let's take it back to scotty hanging out with banner and high c i was off for labor day it's late take it easy not everybody's celebrating. Some people like to see it still. Uh, I guess they like what it is. Uh, Nardog 831 says, I don't know what y'all are celebrating. This is the end of small growers. 
They're going to sick the ATF on anyone growing more than a personal amount. So enjoy that big money. Zero foresight. ATMF is coming for you and you're rooting for it in item. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) You know what? That sounds a little bit Alex Jonesy, but I also can see where they're coming from. It's a lot, Alex Jonesy. <laughs> it's a lot, Alex Jonesy. Yeah, I mean, come on, here's my response. Odell's Brewing Company seems to be doing fine. They're just a small brewer. There's, what, 100 brewers in this county? Like, there's a, an amazing, like, a small business model of just having a, a you know, place in a shopping center. It's like a little brew pub, they call it. Mm-hmm. Why should it be any different if they can do it and have these real specific flavors and offer something really good? I mean, are you really worried about competing? I said it right here. Um, you think Budweiser of cannabis is going to be doing live resin or flavored distillate? There's always room for quality producers. Yeah, I think there's definitely going to be like a craft beer. Craft cannabis. Yeah. Sure. But at the same time, corporations and regulators get together and I can see how they've been abusive in the past. So I can see why people would be concerned. It seems like a legitimate concern, but I also feel like it's maybe a little bit hyperbolic. So, yeah, just side note, Budweiser is not making any concentrates or growing weed. Their parent company might buy another company. That well, I mean, the weed, Budweiser of cannabis is what I mean. Uh, well, all I was trying to get at is that like the corporate face of it is right. when the smaller companies now sell to a big conglomerate. Sure. That's how that happens. It's not like it's not like the alcohol producers are going to just start growing weed. Oh, yeah. I understand. <laughs> yeah, there's all sorts of comments off this, man. Screw them all. Grow your own. Kind of kind of along with that. Thanks, OL Trooper. But, um, man, there are a lot of people that are really reactive and worried. You know, John Collins says, exactly right. About time I see someone else that gets it. Should have kept it at the criminalization. Now the small grows will disappear and y'all will be stuck with cor- corporate cannabis. I love that. Somebody is good. Great job. Real great job. And and def- there is home grow, uh, no? There's home grow. And then, by the way, once there's home grow and they're like, yeah, well, it smells like weed in that house. And you're allowed to have your house smell like weed. So we can't get a warrant to bust it. Mm-hmm. Who the hell's going to come and count your plants, man? T- to be fair. I always want you to be fair. To be fair. When it went legal to grow at home here. Mm-hmm. Didn't you still kind of wonder if they were going to hassle people if they had a couple more plants? I was yes. concerned about it, and but, or like monitoring it somehow or whatever. You no. still kind of have when it right right when it happened. You you didn't still. That was still it was a, little a little bit weird. of the paranoia. Yeah, but then, I think so. No, watching what happens here in Colorado, though, I can see why Scott's not as concerned about it because. They kind of just were like, well, you know, we can't really even do anything about it. The cat's out of the bag. We're just going to let these people do what they're going to do. Yeah. I just think there's kind of a progression like that. At first, it's like, oh, no, like there's still some paranoia because it was illegal for so long. And then it kind of wanes and it's all good. But OK, real quick. Yeah. No, please. just to be just to be fair again. Um, we like to be fair. Profitability. Is definitely going to drop. We saw the price of what a grower could sell their goods for here in Colorado plummet after legalization. So that's a legitimate concern. I understand making a living $4,800 pounds were great. Mm-hmm. And those were the days. All right. You buy Speedboat with that money. All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, but <laughs> you design but, your own hull. Yeah. But. <laughs> But, you know, having it so where you, your buddy gives you a big fat bud or, hey, do you want it's a $75 ounce? That's awesome, man. That's yeah. when you can gift cannabis and, you know, smoke it in the volcano and not have to rerun it. Do what Banner does. Come in and be like, hey, free weed for everybody. Yes, that's the way it should be. And I'm sorry that the profitability has been taken out, out of it, that you can't run your, your free market grows and make a fortune like you used to be able to. Yeah, I understand that. But I would trade that for not going. To, and by the way, I was going to say I'd trade that for not going to jail. That's what you were doing, man. You were paying that tax because you were taking the risk to go to jail. Oh. And oh, oh, go ahead. 
just a quick note, as far as the free market goes, there are absolutely 100% some really top quality producers right. that are still that still provide to the free market. Yeah, do a so it's job. not like it's over. And, and, and yeah. also, what you were t- just hinting at, it's not just you're getting a lot of money because you're risking going to jail. So whatever, profit incentives, whatever. But also... You're getting a lot of money because a lot of people are going to jail. And yeah. that for me doesn't sit right. I get the profit thing. I'm a businessman. I'm a capitalist. I get it. But I don't like I would much rather lose some profits and know that people aren't sitting in jail for smoking cannabis. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. And I mean, what what uh, we should shout out to Ohio uh, a couple of days ago, yeah, just passed uh, congratulations. Oh, legal cannabis, mm-hmm. and they got growers' rights in. It's they twelve did. plants. Yeah, they, you right. get tw- you get to grow twelve plants, man. So, in my opinion, that doesn't mean they're going to be knocking on your door saying we have to inspect and see how many you know count your clone dough. Mm-hmm. You know? Dough is on. Yeah, that's very cool, man. A lot of you know, as they said, is man, they were tired of just seeing all the revenue go to Michigan. Mm. Yeah, you know what's yeah. cool about that is because there's got to be a lot of people grabbing from Michigan. A lot, come on, yeah. But uh, doesn't this encourage it to be more local? Yes, yeah, which ultimately saying. I think is the way to go. It's a lot of tax revenue, man. Keep it local. It's yes, free market or not, it should just be local. Hey, yeah, there's a lot of good stuff. Should be man. fresh. Should be fresh for everybody. Yeah, this one's interesting. This is uh, Jip THC Nursery says, I I don't care. Uh, 75% of the country wants weed. If you take that to trial and point out the cost of investing in manpower to make the bust, court costs end up costing more than the tax potential. It might be embarrassing for the prosecutor and officers involved. Don't forget, you only have to convince one jury member. It's exhausting if you're going to bust somebody for having too many plants. Oh, yeah. By the way, they sell this stuff at the store and it's legal, but we're going to prosecute you. I'm going to go take a jury of your peers and convince every single one of them that you deserve to be found guilty on this. While there's so much other crap going on right outside the car room. But yet some jackass will still be hellbent on it. Uh, Uh, Probably. You're right. You see those posts from police departments nowadays in, you know, in Prohibition land where they bust somebody and they're like, we found eight ounces plus a knife. Plus, and this, they got it all laid out on the table and yeah. they take a picture and they post it to the, the police department's Facebook page. And the comments are just people roasting them like, oh. uh, great. How many violent offenders got away because you were, oh. we're yeah. selling weed in the comments. Uh, 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 awesome. Save me up. I still got mine. That's but awesome. they get roasted now. Like if they're trying to do it where it's partially legal or mostly legal, man, they're not going to be able to the, the support for police departments messing with growers and, and distributors. It's just gone. That's it's my not, point. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. You're just embarrassing yourself at this point. If you're getting all excited about busting a, some people with a little bit of weed, <laughs> yeah. it is embarrassing. You're yeah. just embarrassing yourself at this point. I agree. I agree. All right. So that's how I feel about uh, uh, legalization versus decriminalization, all that stuff. I'm happy for Ohio. Go grow your 12 plants. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what's next? You want to have some fun now? I've been having fun this whole time. This is the fun portion, man. Are you guys ready to have fun? Yeah. Sure, always. Uh, <laughs> no, I just, I've been uh, checking out YouTube. They got my algorithm, and there are some good fungi stuff on YouTube, man. Mm. There's even a debate whether you call fungi or fungi. Ooh. Depends where you're from. I'm going to lose that debate. Just, just check this out, man. This is Planet Fungi, and this guy goes all over the place to, uh, this is in India. Mm. And they are beautiful, you, huh? You don't think these are the master race? The fungi. <laughs> <man? laughs> sure looks like it to me. Uh, it's the third kingdom, man. There's some debate that panspermia mushrooms are an alien. Yeah. Bro. I mean, is that beautiful or what? That's cool. That is. They Live was about mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how many of these will kill you? Because I noticed they're in Australia. A lot. I don't know, man, but that, that's just so neat. Look at them that fighting. Is. They're fighting. 
Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, are, that dude that you turned me on to. Hey, the next one, Mer- Merlin Sheldrake. Oh, yeah. so we can click the next one. He's got an IMAX movie coming out. Yeah. What is happening I'm here, man? Week. You can win a hundred. Is this Merlin Sheldrake? Oh, welcome no. to YouTube ads. Oh. <laughs> Scott does not understand what that means. No, but you guys are marketing geniuses. You have to. Uh, Oh, we're just back to the bugs, man. Narrate about the yeah. Old. This, oh, this is yeah. Oh, it's Merlin oh, right. Shell Drake. So this guy's dad, Rupert Sheldrake, was one of my favorite authors. Really? And then you introduced me to this guy, oh, Merlin. Man. Whoa, do they got on some next level stuff too? Didn't you say he's like super popular over? Yeah, here? in England, he's a big deal. In the UK, I should say, he's huge in Japan. <laughs> Shout out to UK DGC. The Entangled Life is the book that I have. It's an audio book. Uh huh. Excellent, excellent. And this is gonna do. We should go see. Then the IMAX. Yeah. This one. I'm down. Let's oh, go. Oh, red. Things that no one's ever seen before. Should we invite Grandma? No, I don't I'm just gonna show up. <laughs> right. I'm just gonna show up. Free country. Grandma's the one that lives closest to the IMAX, so I literally live next door to it. <laughs> hey, buy us tickets, man. We'll pay you. All right. There. All right. I'll see. Was- <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> as long as you get all into the shrooms, man. Just anybody want some phone book shrooms, bro? Some phone book shrooms. Oh, hey, no, that's the book I bought last night. Yeah. Man. Oh, you like bought it two last in night? the morning. It's the it's the illustrated version of Entangled oh. Life. Oh, so nice. I'll bet you that'd be cool. I'll have a little coffee table book over. Sometimes you get a book on Audible, and then you're like, dude, I have to get yeah. a physical copy of this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. pictures. Right? Yeah. They're so fractal and just crazy, man. It's interesting. Yeah. Hyphy, right? That's beautiful. Yeah. All right, do me a favor, Grambo. Click this next one for me. I didn't know that growing mushrooms could be this easy. I mean, Bro. they always tell you you got to be sterile and stuff. <laughs> what do you think? What? Growing I, mushrooms in a phone book? That is the yellow page. What? That's pretty cool. Do they still have the yellow uh, pages? Yeah. <laughs> you got to order it. Uh, wow. Mm. That's cool though, but I mean, is it soy based? If you got a, a new <laughs> book, it would be clean enough. I, I, it's happening there. Clean man. enough. It's just using the, it's that the it's that substrate is the phone book, so it's just colon, colonizing the phone book. Yeah. Wow. wow. That's, That's a, wood a cool. trip. That's a trip, right? Yeah. Micro remediation, right there, man. Wow. What is happening? <laughs> I think you <he's> jumping <laughs> out. <laughs> this is yours, not mine. No, this is yours. <laughs> no, it's yours. You get another life. Oh my god. All right. No, no, I I don't want to watch. We're getting age painted. I quit. I quit. quit. (laughs) Their train platforms are frightening. Oh no. (laughs) Do me a bear. I think me and you, Banner, were talking about how like you know, psychedelics are the new cannabis. You know, like it's moved on. Cannabis is it's over, man. We we want it. It's legal. Um, and now it's moved on to psychedelics and this SWSX, the South by Southwest West Festival. Yes. Wow, I can't speak. <laughs> they threw some X's in there. It becomes hard. The South by Southwest Festival is one of those, that, like the hipster thing in Austin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's in March. A, yeah. There's some, it's a ton of music. There's a bunch of educational components. It's really weird. Yeah. Is it? I'm it looks like it'd be fun. I'm, I'm, not it. I'm not sure what's going on in Austin. It seems cool, though. Uh, anyway, this is from Marima- Marijuana Moment, and it talks about how there's like all these psychedelic uh, lectures going on. And maybe I think they said there's like 24 psychedelic lectures and maybe like seven or eight cannabis ones. Wow. And it used to be, you know, cannabis was what it was all about. Yeah. And and it's uh, just kind of funny how it's changing now. There's more you know? money in it now, right? Well, it's just like we've like the next thing. I do feel like we've kind of have that victory with cannabis, mm-hmm. you know, to where we can move on. And trust me, it ain't no good. That guy we just did on the last show or two shows ago uh, got arrested and he's in big, big trouble for growing a whole bunch of mushrooms. I grow more bamboo than he grows mushrooms, you know, mm-hmm. but for doing that, he's going to have I mean, maybe nine million dollars worth of mushrooms. I might have something yeah. to do with it, but <laughs> I, don't, I just think it's interesting. Yeah, you know, that was a little out of hand. Okay, right. I well, mean, I mean, I don't know. Can't can't help it, man. When they charge for mushrooms, 
No, but I don't know. I just thought this was interesting that like the psychedelics are really the new the new cannabis, I'll say. If that makes any sense. A lot of people that were very passionate about getting cannabis to where it's at now have seemed to switch gears and now they're really passionate about getting psychedelics to have that same social acceptance behind it. Yeah. I will say is I used to take some psychedelics and go to parties. Yeah. You know, and it was pretty, I was guess I was social. You know? It does seem like a thing these days, just taking just the right amount of shrooms and going to a social event and partying. Yeah, it's hard because I took some shrooms about two weeks ago. It's too much. Too much. About three hours in, I was like, oh my God, what did I do to myself? Right. <laughs> were you in a good were you in a place where you could chill or you were like, I was in a place that I could chill. And luckily I have spent years meditating and learning how to take control of right. my thoughts. But <laughs> yeah, it was scary. I was like that for, for about 45 minutes. I was scared. Wow. So I don't like to take that many mushrooms. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dosing yourself. is, But I have seen people doing it very socially. Ben, are you a guy that'll take a cap and go to a, a show or something like that? Yeah. You got it down, Pat? Yeah. Hey, it's just, just a stem, it. you know? Yeah. Uh, I, really don't <laughs> I, don't, I don't like to go super hard. <laughs> you know, me and Grandpa are going to split a quarter when we go see Iron Maiden. I'm, I'm in. Let's do it. I saw God. You know, they're coming, they advertise that there's an Iron Maiden concert Is coming, that, and I don't understand what Are they really means. coming? They can't because... They it can't right? Is it a hologram I mean, thing? Or, ask, well, they get no, people think, to re, you know yeah. sit in or whatever. Iron Maiden might be coming, man. If so, we're going, Grambo. Right? I'm in. Let's go. I've, I've seen right. him twice. All right. All right, man. You guys ready to play? Is it real? Uh, yeah, you know I'm ready to play. <laughs> Rambo's been sending me stuff. He goes, ever since you started this, now the entire DGC just sends me. It's the it weirdest real? thing. <laughs> Every few days, I just get a DM on Instagram at Josh Grambo, and it'll just say, "Grambo, is it real?" And it'll be some weird video that I'll have to go dissect. You really tapped into the zeitgeist on something here. But the first one hit it, man. Well, this one is it real? I mean, this I, looks like it could be an AI thing. No, this is real. This is real. Yeah. She's that good on a bicycle. Yeah. There's a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> this looks AI, man. No, no way. I just shot at a high frame rate. That's real. Totally real. Yeah. People can do There's that. No, yeah. People can definitely do that. I'm not saying they can't, but it just looks AI to me. All right. No, no, no. She's doing everything right. For the whole 14, million, <laughs> 14 billion views on this. I can see why right there. What <laughs> <laughs> the hell is happening? Uh, why is she dressed like the... Uh, hey, lady, you got a bike happy. <laughs> she's very happy. This is a good video. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Jesus, oh, man. man. That's hard to do. She makes it look seem... She's a master. Oh, she is a, a master. master she made a mistake. Tricks, huh? She is a master. She has mastered being a gorgeous blonde. Good for her. How dare you, sir. <laughs> um, wow. All right. Oh, you want to go to that, the opposite one? That's, so that's real. That's real. That's a hot. Is this squirrel really dead, Grambo? <laughs> this, I, I don't know how you got a, a video of me at my last job. This is my yeah. YouTube. <laughs> it's my YouTube algorithm right here, man. <laughs> what is happening? Dude, this squirrel freaking plays dead. No way. Yes, Just start from the beginning, if you would, man. Watch this, man. Go all the way to the beginning. Watch this. Oh, it's, wow. First off, the fact that he's got a pet squirrel is cool. I know Whoa. people that have pet squirrels. Wow. Dude, watch. He knocked it over. He's got a pet flying squirrel. That's next level. Yeah, what watch. is next level? What is happening? What, what? is... <laughs> it says squirrel. Flying squirrel plays dead for insurance. <laughs> I mean, what is happening there, man? Oh, that's perfect. That is a setup, bro. <laughs> you know what I find funny is that the, the bike riding blonde has seven times more views than this. This has got 2.3 million. She had 14 million. I mean, well, this is a flying squirrel playing dead for insurance. I don't understand what's happening here. The yeah. best video ever. <laughs> All right, check this bug out, man. Uh, real? Check this bug out. <laughs> oh, oh, this that, is real, right? That's that, like a caterpillar. That man. is real. Yeah. Royal that walnut looks like it's moth. from. Jim Henson's Monster yeah. Studio Factory vein. Oh my god. That's real? So oh. that is really creepy, man. They come out of dog turns. I don't like that. 
This is making me cringe. Oh, this is getting us age gated. Whoa, oh, boy. Silence of the Lambs. Uh, it's just a moth. That's cool. Not just that a kind moth. Of scary. It looks like it's made of wool. <gasps> that is awesome. It looks like it's oh. knitted. My grandma made me that. <laughs> <laughs> That's dope. Yeah. Wow. Your feed is weird, Scott. So yeah, so nature is just weirder than than stuff you can make uh what do they say? With AI. Stranger yeah. in fiction, bro. Stranger, Stranger in fiction. Stranger fiction. That is so cool, man. Mm. All right, this guy really just really a douche, man. Watch this. He's getting some kind of fancy car and he's Lighting a blunt and everybody's <laughs> looking at him. So, that's gotta suck, man. That's, that's why you're like, sometimes you want people to just, yeah, that's why I don't want people to look at me. That is guy gets hilarious. busted lighting a blunt in his fancy Maybe car. Roll man. up your window, oh right? God. So, that's a setup that's fake, right? He's just setting. I don't think why so. Why would you roll the window down and do that? Oh, yeah, because oh, you don't want to stink up your dad's car, you know? Yeah, but lighting, lighting it with no, the window that, up that doesn't make any sense. You just assume it's his dad's car. Uh, hey, look at I'm her. just being a jerk. I'm just being a hater. Dude, please tell me this isn't this, real. This, this is real. This is not real. I am going to freak out if that's it, real. It, it is a vision of the future, but it is not real yet. No. <laughs> I wouldn't want to see it. It's too heavy to fly. It's stadium seating in an airplane. Wow. Oh, my God. You dropped your peanuts, sir. You got a crying baby above you. Where your shoe falls off? Three levels above you, oh, man. man. That doesn't seem very inef- or very efficient. No. And by the way, they're no still way. doing this. All right. So, I mean, we're still stuck in this world. That's the future. Oh, he's just doing donuts. This is a person. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> they're all just standing around. Oh, the truck is doing donuts by itself. Yeah, yeah it's by no, no, I just got oh, so low. Oh, yeah. so it hurts. Oh, oh Danny, we're not ready for stadiums. Danny, yeah, don't give it up, man. Danny just rolled in there, and somebody caught it on film. Oh, that's great. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh. about. All right, I got. T- I got two more. First of all, this last one's just weird. <laughs> Dude, this is extreme spelunking. All right. That's a cave opening, man. Uh oh. What? Why would anybody do that? No. Oh, man. That is so creepy, no? God, no way. No. No. It's real and it really freaks me out. And oh, I guess yeah. I'm claustrophobic. I didn't really think yeah. I was, but I guess. <laughs> no, is that how you spell Oh, my it. God. Stop, oh, dude. Stop. I didn't know uh, that's how you spell no way. <laughs> Oh my god, that's freaking me out, man. Klaus Trophobic. Klaus. Interesting. Wow. Wow. What's the grandma? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they cut with it, man. Oh, man. Grandma, this last one's for you, brother. This is so my is real. This is my jam. I actually researched this, Scott. This one is a hundred percent real. It's real, right? Isn't yeah. it a place you can get to? Oh, I saw this movie. Oh. A train. <laughs> I mean, the internet is such a weird place, right? Beyond, I'm so scared to think what people can do. They've got a uh, tons of footage of me. They can make me uh, into Dorothy. Yeah. How long until we don't even need actors anymore? It's gone to six months. I know. I think it's oh, there. The AI is just generating these for its own entertainment. Six months. <laughs> Six months, Banner. Six oh, months. Oh, man. So that's real, right? That is 100% real. All right. Oh, my God. It looks really good. <laughs> it looks really good, and it bothers me. According to Wikipedia. <laughs> oh, God. Come on, Grandpa. Help me with a couple shout outs, man. Yeah. What do we got? I'll start with Hunter 115, man. 115. Oh, Hunter 115. Yes. I, I got it, man. You know what? Two can grow New York, man. And why? And we have a beautiful, I'm going to save it for the next show. I got a beautiful package from them that is just oh, yeah? loaded with it's the, the cool stuff, man. I will save it. Mm. But what wonderful folks in the spirit of the DGC. Oh, and then we got the DGC legend coming up next. Ah, uh, Sunny and Bechtopia. Oh, man. Ah, uh, awesome. You may have seen her in the comments. You might have, you might have known her in the comments. Yeah. Yes, or at the DGC Cup. I know oh, her yeah. from the inventor of not bro She's science. She's snazzy dresser. But ho science. Oh. Uh, remember? She yes. had the ho science pants. I do. <laughs> that was awesome, Beck. I would be remiss without saying she's a good girl. 
grower. Amazing Real grower. good grower, man. The best Paloma of the cup, in my opinion, was her outdoor Paloma. Mm, would amazing. you call her a master grower? I would. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't want to see the t-shirt next, man. <laughs> uh, hey, I was, uh, I actually had this thought. Which was I was had a, the dog had to go pee at like four in the morning, and I went out at four in the morning, and I was like, "Holy crap! It's really cool out here, man! It was neat. It was just everything was dark. There was so many. Just you could see Jupiter was hanging out. There was just so much going on in the sky, and uh, it reminded me of just how you got to look around every now and again. There's more to it than. The dude grows and real growers and you know, even just people, mm. you know, they spend so much. I spend so much of my time relating to people and trying to do things around people. And when I walked out, I was like, holy shit, man, there's a lot more than just people. You know? Is this a time lapse of sunsets? This is the sunset, and it made me think about how I I don't even notice this, man. Right. The sunsets are the difference. You know, the sun moves all the time. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is like the procession this, of the equinox. Yeah, this is like somebody taking a, a picture from the same spot. Yeah, you know, cool. and I think it's in you know a few months. Yeah. Yeah, but, it's called the procession of the equinox. They, you can look it up, and uh, New York becomes a sundial during certain times of the year. Super mm-hmm. cool. The idea that I don't even notice that. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> oh, it's kind of a bummer. We have like light pollution from the cities and it's sure hard to see the stars, but, and we've got constant go, 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 worrying about getting yeah. to soccer on time. And, but in the past, I mean, when life was slower and you didn't have lights, and a lot of people, that was the one thing that they did that made you survive or not knowing what was going up and going on up in the sky. So, yeah, we're kind of out of touch. Completely out of touch, man. <laughs> Completely. You don't hunt our own food either. <laughs> no, that's yes. But my point is, no. I don't even look outside anymore. Right? <laughs> I don't hunt my own food. I don't even look up anymore. Now Scott's playoffs. Oh, man, playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even looking outside. Hold my own food. I don't look at the sky. <laughs> Yeah, I don't bother to look up. What okay. <laughs> oh my Scott. Yeah, dude, Thundar the Budbarian. Is, uh, <laughs> Thundar, what are you doing? Yeah, man, there? it's the first meme on the new site, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. All right. Is when you train for that one big bud. What the hell? What is that? <laughs> That's a big baby, man. That is a big baby. Oh, that's a baby? That is one big pissed off baby. Oh, wow. Dude, Uh, that kid's going to be like eight feet tall. Wow. And then that that reminded me of this one. Look at this. Does this baby just look like. Hold your head up on your own. He's like, comes out of the womb. He goes, What? I'm back. (laughs) I'm back here. <laughs> he just looks like he's like, no, no, I just escaped. How did I get back here? Uh, he's looking for Reese's Pieces. That's E.T., y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I just Aww. got the most oh, like hard. unimpressed face. Mm. You know, all right. All right. I'm back. Yeah. Boring. I don't know. That one's so trippy, man. Maybe, oh, maybe this is the lifetime that he becomes a man. <laughs> I just look at that. Uh, yeah, there you go, Grambo. Do me a favor, just shout out. This to is live. the greatest duo in the history of cinema. <laughs> it's Roddy Roddy Piper. Who's the other guy? Uh, oh my God, I can't believe I'm blanking on his name. He's uh, my favorite actor ever. Uh, Keith David. Keith that David, Keith the man David. with your first name. Yes, he's the greatest. This is They Live. John Carpenter, amazing, amazing. As relevant as it ever was. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you guys fan? Everybody seen it? I seen it like so long ago. I can barely remember. I remember they wear the glasses, Just right? the famous line. He said, I came here to do two things. Chew bubble gum and kick some ass. I'm all out of bubble gum. Wow, man. <laughs> well, Rowdy Roddy Piper for you. Yeah, they got like an eight minute fight scene. <laughs> it's great. <Great. laughs> this was one of those movies that when I watched it, I was like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And everyone's like, that was a fiction movie. I was like, no, pay a little bit of attention. That makes sense. Everyone that knows the Obey slogan, that's actually where he was inspired from this. Yep. One. Yeah. I obey. Andre the Giant has a posse. Zoom. <laughs> Probably a big one. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Man, that's about it. I tell you, like, Grambo. Yeah, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> Has anyone told you you look like Tyson Fury? Oh, uh, I'm putting this on my Tinder bio. I Come know on. that. 
I mean, not me, you. I know. I mean, I haven't yet, but I like it. And what is this boudoir photo you have of it? I just like him. That's all, man. All right. Dude, we got his glamour shots. Yeah. That was out. the one that most reminded me of you, Grandpa. Okay. I got shots. Yeah. Bro, we want some DGC. I watched that fight a couple weeks ago, uh, that Tyson Fury fight. Yeah. And my wife, of course, is like, you know, they have a reality show. And I'm always looking for like something, just something I can handle with my wife to watch on TV. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, I'll try that. Uh, Man, he's a likable guy. He's he really the best, is. Right. Yeah. yeah, they are true gypsies. We're good. We gypsies are good people. If, you should uh, print that out and put it next to the Barry picture. <laughs> yeah, I should, man. Uh, Rambo, you should wear that as a T-shirt, man, for the DDC Cup. Uh, all right. Uh, oh. I got nice guy Kenny one that says Fetterman stunt double. Uh, I love it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he's oh, a, he's a handsome man. I can't tell you why, but I think he's handsome. Yeah. Good looking man there, man. It's a good show. Just check that show out. Man. Uh, no idea what it's called. And now what me you take us from sex to math. Why does this happen, man? This is this is this is pizza geometry, man. Why is a pizza by round, a sliced triangle, and it goes on a square box? Illuminati. It's what it is, right? It's a silly Illuminati. Right? <laughs> I think it's a PlayStation commercial. Oh, okay. Maybe that too. It was deep Just thoughts. The X. Hey, this was the last thought I had before I closed my eyes last night. <laughs> Yeah. This? Yep. <laughs> yep. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then the banner had some some late. This one is from Do You Right. Shout out to Noah. Yeah. This is a, a is it real? Oh, I don't know. It looks real so far. Well, well, is it is real about it? It was its stage, I should say. Was this is the better? You better not catch fire, bro. Yeah. MJ Don. No, so Slash is just going on and on and on. Oh. Yeah. He's soloing and then MJ gets back. Oh. We've got two pre Madonnas fighting. Who the hell show. said that those you guys should call it? Was it stage together. show or is it real? And that that one didn't strike me. Nowadays, that didn't strike me as Super Banner, but this one did. <laughs> Ah, he just oh. needs audio. Uh, let's let's get see get some audio. Dang, uh, you can tell that's an American squirrel. That's a big squirrel right there. <laughs> 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 little weird owl. <laughs> can you hear the audio? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't hear that. <laughs> it's a weird owl. I'm fat. You know it. Ah, I'm fat. <laughs> I'm fat. <laughs> nice. Yeah. He's getting ready for winter. Look how happy he is. He is happy. That squirrel wants my tax dollars to pay for its health care. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, it was a great summer. <laughs> that's it man that's it have a great saturday everybody thank you all for uh hanging out with me today i do miss the dude next saturday i yeah next saturday dude's back right i believe so yeah. better be man I believe so missed until then everybody we'll see you monday for the live panel wait 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 yes sir last yes, thing sir. before we're out of here oh man real growers channel Thank you, man. Thank you. We've been doing work on the Real Growers channel recently, and uh, we've had to build that from scratch. Yeah. We had to build that one. Thank you, YouTube. But we've had to build that from scratch. So if you would, we got a bunch of good videos over there. We've been putting content up, I don't know, yep. pretty frequently these days. Yep. We're trying to do at least two pieces of content every single day. If you dig the Dude Grow Show... Go check out the Real Growers channel on YouTube. On what, YouTube. Is, what is it? Just at Real Growers and you should be able to find us. Excellent, man. Excellent. Thank you. Hell yeah. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and check out the other two videos. Do we do that on this channel? Yes, we do, man. Yes, we do. I was ready, man. I was ready. This is what I get trained to do every morning. All right. I'm almost there, brother. <laughs> all right. All right. Have a great weekend, all y'all. Peace.